everybody welcome back thank you for joining me today i've got a collective haul to share with you now i haven't been and bought all this at once this is stuff that i've bought throughout the month of september um i won't be buying anything else now probably not through october neither because now's the time i need to start saving all my pennies for christmas so i'll share with you what i've bought so i'll start off with the range um i bought quite a few of these little paper pads these are just the very inexpensive they are but they're really nice for a pound they go through the die cutting machine nicely so i use these um for die cutting and for making um journals and, and bits like that they're really handy so the first one i got is this vintage blues and you get 10 the 10 by 10 centimeters you get 100 sheets and you get five of each design so i'm not going to spend ages because i don't want to bore you but i'll just give you a quick flick through you know really nice okay so that's the first one that's vintage blues the next one i bought was chalk book chalk trends i've got the 12 by 12 in this one i really love monochrome the black and white as it says on the cover black and white Okay, that's that one. And then I got seashores, which is nice, bright and colourful. I let the children use these when we're crafting at the weekend. We always have a crafty day, either Saturday or Sunday. I always try and plan something through the week for the children to do at the weekend because they really, really love crafting uh, with me. They enjoy it. They've got their own little art journals that we work in. And I will try and show you there was one of them. Um, show you the journals one day perhaps i could introduce you to the children and they could show you what we make um if anybody would like to see that then just leave a comment down below and i'm more than happy to do that i'm sure the children would be happy to share what they've made with you then i got the soft purple purple is one of my colors i like purple nice floral images again just what it says on the front of it just paper pad i'm not sure what gsm these are it doesn't say on here um but they, they are only paper and then the next one is the fresh seaside yeah okay. okay so that's that one the fresh seaside then i got a few of these um in fact i think all of them were a pound let me just check yeah they're all, all a pound. The first one is this Craft Sensations design pad and this is 15 by 15 centimetres and this is 120 GSM and you get 24 sheets, three of each design and there's eight different designs. This is a nice one. Um, this is a little thicker than those what I've just shared with you. I'll enjoy using that one. Okay, and then I've got the Unique Stories. Again, I won't go through the same amount of papers in just different designs obviously this is a little bit of a mixture of everything this one okay so that's that one then i got this one this hello spring i'm sure this was one of the dearer ones actually but they've reduced it um again nice bright florally papers it's nice with the birds i like that one as well Yeah, so that's that one. Then I got Let's Make Magic. Not seen this one before neither. This was a new one. These are sort of more springy, summery colours, but you know, we'll use it. So that's that one. And then I got Vintage Love. This is nice as well. I like some of the papers in this one. I like that one. Just sort of the muted colour. I like that one as well. That's really nice. Just nice for matting and layering with these. And like I said, for die cutting. I like that one as well. So that's that one. And then the final paper pad was this one. The Inspiring Boho. And this is obviously the Dream Catchers. And... Uh, one of the girls loves dream catchers, so she'll be happy to have a play with this one. And I don't mind them using these, you know, they're really inexpensive. 
um, I've got tons and tons of them so I'll just let them choose and pick what they want to craft with right okay next I've just oh sorry this was just some of the packet of stickers one of the girls picked again nautical theme they were from the range so that's those uh, I bought these also in the range these are the sorry wrong way around royal royal Lang Langnickel can never pronounce that I've got a flat you get three different size brushes um one inch two inch and three inch and I use these for when I'm doing my um mixed media my art journal and things like that gluing and, and stippling the paint through so they were 2.99 or 3.99 I'm not 100% sure how much they were so that's that and then and just a few little bits from the works I just picked up these 12 paper rows and they were £1.50 and I got these, these were nice, I picked up these yesterday actually, these are pearl, they're just called pearl stickers, but they're sort of holographic, these little uh, pink flat backs, and you get 70 in those, they were a pound. And then two little stamp sets I picked up yesterday from the works, this one's just called Tags and Labels, and it says what it is, it is what it says, it's just tags and labels, but I thought these would be nice to stamp in. So that's that one that was a pound and then this one here i bought for one of my little girls like i just said she likes the dream catchers um, and this again was a pound and you can't go wrong for how many stamps one two three four five six seven nine stamps for a pound um, and then i just picked the, up these alphas these um you get two sheets and it's just just alpha stickers and they were sorry they were a pound as well next one i think it was thursday last week may have been friday i popped into wilkinson's for anybody that's in the uk just because i needed to pick up a few householdy products and i just staggered by the stationery bit and they had a sale on these on this these products now there was different ones i picked up what i could um first of all i got this sticky notes and it's just a sort of a list a pad the list put your lists on and some sticky notes now this was priced up at £1.50 and this was I think it was 50 pence none of these that I've bought were over a pound and um, they should have been £1.50 they were either 25 or 50 pence then then I got this this is just sort of just paper on a pad this is chunky desk pad priced up at £2.50 and this was 25 pence they had lots but I just couldn't carry lots and I'm really annoyed because I took the children back on Saturday I promised to buy them let them pick what they wanted and they've put all the prices back up I have no idea why they reduced them all last week and then put them back up I have no idea but hey ho they'd all gone back up to full price so I should have picked up them all last week really but I just couldn't carry them with all the rest of my shopping so anyway three exercise books I'm using that third one there I've got a lovely butterfly and then the floral and then the last one sort of this marbly effect they were 50 pence for the three notebooks then I got just these giant binder clips two gold they were priced at 150 they were 25 pence didn't have many of them and then they had this scrapbook and um, this is priced up at three pounds 20 sheets of 250 gsm and this was a pound and it's really lovely Let's take the it's just as it says there just a nice scrapbook so i'm going to use that i'm going to do a new mixed media scrapbook with that one so yeah i was a bit disappointed for the children at the weekend when we went but i've no idea why they reduced them and then put them back up no idea whatsoever but never mind anyway going back i placed an order with clearly besotted uh, they have they had a sale on and i do like their stamps just picked up a few just three stamp sets they were only about £1.50 and £1.20 each these they're just mini ones and um, the photopolymer clear stamps and the first one is just this one here and um, you get the long sort of stamp there that you can make the banner stamp the banners out and you get one two three four five six seven fourteen stamps and these are called bunting basics for any and then this did they are still offers on clearly besotted website if you go and have a look on there and i'm sure the delivery is only about one pound 95 from clearly besotted which i don't think is too bad at all next i've got this one here which is quite nice this is the uh 
photopolymer again and this is called fruit salad and as you can see it's just a mixture of different fruits and then I've got that sentiment there you're the sweetest really really tiny images but for the price I was happy with that and then the third one is called scribbled flowers I like this one I really like this one you get the stem and then you get the different flowers to be and then a little scent two little sentiments um again they were under two pounds so that was my little order from clearly besotted next i've got a, some stuff well actually the rest of it's all from aliexpress a mixture of different things oh what's these here dotty ribbon bows red and white i picked these up from the work sorry they were missed out of those um, yes, yeah, so Aliexpress, like, first of all I ordered some more flowers, I've had a lot of flowers from Aliexpress lately and they've been really lovely when they've come, um, these, I will try if you want me to, I'm not going to list everything in my description because it will take me forever, if there's anything you'd like to know price wise or where I got it, drop me a comment and I'll put, try and put a link in for you, I'm more than happy to do that, it'll just take me a long time to put links in for everything but if there's anything specific then please feel free to ask me and I'll do that for you, so as you can see there, just these little flowers, they were really cheap as well, they were, then um, I've got a die, this die here, this is quite a nice size die this one and it just says, put a look on this black card stock for you to see and you get the outer and the inner so you can you can uh, obviously map them on top of each other so that's it there and it just says hello like I said you get the two dies the outer and the inner but like I said if you want me to list anything just give me a shout and I'll do my best next I got these couple of stamp sets these were really cheap stamp sets I do like this this um particular stamp set I like the shape of the flowers and again that was under a pound I know that was then I got this one here which is um some sentiments um I like the big birthday I like the size and I like the font on this one again that was under two pounds next one is this one here um oh, it's a layering stamp set this one you've got the leaves to layer and then I've got the flowers to layer and then I've got couple of sentiments there sending hugs and happy thoughts and wish you the most beautiful day that's a nice stamp set I haven't used these yet but hopefully I'll get round to using them soon I've used this one and uh, this is a nice one I like this one just as it is floral little flowers and a couple of leaves on that one again that was under two pounds that's that one and then this one here this is a background stamp this is sort of just a crackle effect Quite like that one so again that was under two pound and then the rest I think are just some stencils I picked up I'll just go through these quickly with you first one is this one here these are really cheap okay so that's that one there um, next one oh this is a nice one um, you can use it to do your sky or you know waves or different clouds different things yeah I like that one that was, I think that may, be a may have been a little bit dearer, but still not expensive. Again, this one here, this is more of sort of a wavy effect. So um, I've not used any of these yet, but I will do. I'll try and do some projects with them. So that's that one there. And then this one here, this is just this three three birds with, on, sitting on a branch. That's quite a nice one. I thought that would be nice using some texture paste. So I'm looking forward to using that one. And then this one here. Thought this would make a nice background and then finally I've got this one here this is a really nice one as well this butterfly image and this clock and a couple of cogs again that wasn't over a pound I definitely know that so guys that's it that's my um, collective haul for the month of September as always guys thank you for stopping by and taking the time to watch and I'll be back soon so take care